Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to another beautiful Sunday here at Shiloh Baptist Church. Yes, you are either in the house or you have decided to click on the Shiloh experience. Is anybody worthy, ready for a great word of praise on this morning? God is in the building. Songwriter says God is here. He is here. And we welcome him into our hearts. We welcome him into our minds. We welcome him into our homes, into our jobs. We just say welcome, O oh Lord. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you right now for your many blessings. Lord, we just say thank you, God, not for just what you've done, but God, for who you are. We just say thank you, God, for being a healer. We thank you, God, for being a provider. We thank you, God, for being our protector. We just thank you, God, for always being there. Even in the midst of our trials and tribulations, God, we just say thank you, God, for always picking us up, turning us around, dusting us off, God. We just say thank you, God. We love you, God. We praise you, God. We bless your holy name. We just ask you to be God in this place. We just ask you to be who you are. Mm, right now, Lord. Right now. Throughout everything, we just ask you to be who you are. Amen. 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 Come on, put your hands together. I know God deserves more than that. Come on, come on, come on. Songwriter says, Let your glory fill this place. Let your glory fill this place. Show your hand of mercy upon us. Show your hand of mercy upon us. Let your healing start right now. Let your healing start right now. Should kind of glory come on now. Shine of glory come on now. Let your glory fill this place, yeah. Let your glory fill this place. Show your hand of mercy upon us. Show your hand of mercy upon us. Let your healing start right now. Let your healing start right now. Let your kind of glory come on down. Let Let's take this up. Let your glory fill this place, yeah. Let your glory fill this place. Show your hand of mercy upon us. Show your hand of mercy upon us. Let your healing Start right now. Yeah. She kind of glory come on down. Let's take it up. Let your glory fill this place. Yeah. Show your hand of mercy upon us. Show your hand of mercy upon us. Let your healing start right now. She kind of glory come on down. Oh, let your glory fill this place. Yeah.
Amen, 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 amen. We have gotten off to a great start this morning. And we owe God all the credit. So uh, I'm here to just do some observations this morning. I'm not going to call them pastoral observations because I ain't nowhere close to being nobody's pastor. But be reminded that tomorrow night we will have our Fresh Start prayer call uh, with Pastor Taylor beginning at 7 p.m. Uh, for those of you who've never had the chance to experience the Fresh Start, uh, Fresh Start prayer call, you are really missing out on something spectacular. And I encourage you just to take a few minutes because it only lasts, it, sometimes it doesn't even last 15 minutes. But it's a, it's a blessing to you and it's a great start to get your week going. So please join us tomorrow night at 7 p.m. for the Fresh Start prayer call. Uh, once again, we are going to ask everyone who didn't get a chance to do so on last week to try to do it this week. We are trying to uh, add to our coffers for school supplies for our children. It is school time again. Kids uh, in the Shelby County begin school on tomorrow. So uh, we are collecting items, uh, excuse me, collecting monies to purchase items for our kids. And uh, we'll, uh, we have a basket, Brother Taylor, for yeah, we'll have an additional basket for people who want to make contributions. Uh, what Pastor asked everybody to give is a $10 contribution. So if you would, please make that contribution to, uh, this morning. Uh, and for those of you who are not here in the building, you can do so uh, online. Remember, we still have uh, applications to do it on GiveLify as well as Cash App. Uh, and uh, I think that is it for me. So, once again, please be observant of our observations for this morning. Thank you. Good morning, Shallow. It's giving time. So let's give thanks for giving time. You know, it's a blessing to come to the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. Through all this pandemic, we have survived. Amen. And on, on, it's all for the blessing of our Lord and Savior. At least we can give back to the blessing of the Lord that they stored on us. There are four ways you can give here at Shallow. Either cash, check, cash app, or give a five. If you want to give by a check and you're not at the sanctuary at the church, you can mail it to the P.O. Box 16679-38186. Before, before we start a collection, our mission statement let us all repeat our mission statement. We are on a move for Christ to save souls, transform lives, and inspire purpose. We strive to represent Christ well and be change agent in our community through excellence, worship, evangelism, outreach, and service. Let us pray. Oh, gracious Father, we come to you this hour. I want to thank you. From January 1, 2021, Heavenly Father, you've been here for us. With the blood of your Son that just stretched across our doors that saved us. Through all the pandemics, we are still here. Through all the food on our table, we are still here. Through all the illness and sickness in our family, we are still here. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for this day. Go with us, Heavenly Father, throughout this day, throughout the end of this year. And the offering that we're about to receive, Heavenly Father, let it go to the meaning of your purpose in your house. These blessings we ask in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. That's, well, it's not too many for us to uh, collect it. Okay. Very short, small house this morning. <laughs> Speaker for the hour is he's no stranger here at Shallow. This is the second home, first home, third home. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So Reverend Parker go back a long ways with Reverend Herbert Davenport Jr. He really don't need no introduction. Amen. So without further ado, 
Reverend Parker will be your next speaker. Thank you.
Somebody ought to shout glory up in here. Somebody shout hallelujah. Now give the Lord some praise, not for me, but for the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Greetings and blessings and salutations to you as you have come to worship and to celebrate the Lord. I am honored to be in this pulpit again. Amen, amen. I, I tell you, your pastor is such a loving yes, and caring person. And one thing about these young preachers and pastors now, John, they treat me like I'm, I'm a daddy. <laughs> and they about right, too. <laughs> Amen. Time has come and moved on, and uh, old gray stallion ain't what it used to be. <laughs> Amen. Deacon Haley, we want to give our money. Me and my, my, my associate up here. Amen. We didn't see no basket get over here on this end, and we come to worship the Lord. Amen. Amen. And the whole of worship is giving. Amen. I don't believe y'all heard me. Yeah. Give unto the Lord. Yeah. That which is due unto him. Yeah. Praise his name. And bless our holy Lord. Amen. So I am honored and privileged to be here today. Uh, I tell you, uh, Mr. Haley, you, I didn't know you could do all of that. Amen. He sang direct. Uh, I don't let singing preachers come to my church. Uh. <laughs> I was just teasing on you. <laughs> Amen. Uh, but I'm honored to have one of our ministers of our staff and his lovely wife uh, to come and be with us. Uh, uh, Reverend and Mrs. Turner, uh, they are uh, and they've been around me so long till they call me Pops. <laughs> Amen. I knew them when they were chilling. <laughs> Amen. And they've grown up around and under my pastorate and, and my preaching. I, uh, uh, Sister Turner grew up at the church that was over in West Memphis, and they'd have me over there for youth day. So you know how long ago that's been. Uh, yeah, it's been. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I, I tell you, and Daryl grew up in the church that I grew up in, and in New Salem, 4th Street. And so we are grateful and privileged to have this time to come today. I had, I had gone off and uh, left my glasses, I thought. And uh, I prayed, and uh, I said, Lord, let some glasses be in the car. And uh, the Lord let them be in there. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Praise His holy name. So we are we are grateful and privileged to be here with you today. I'm I'm not gonna be long. I'm about halfway through now. <laughs> Amen. I, uh, they, they heard that I need a stool, and you know uh, I have what they call spinal stenosis, daughter, and. Uh, uh, it presses the narrowing of the spine, and it press on the nerves, and and no legs go to sleep. I want to go to sleep. I, <laughs> hey man, and, you know you get to thinking you might fall. So I sit down and uh, tell tell to get that relief off that pressure, pressure off those nerves. So, but the Lord are good, and uh, we we are here today to celebrate Him. Uh, I would like to invite your attention uh, to the book of Mark, the third chapter, verses 1 through 6. The book of Mark, if you got your iPhones and iPads and uh, other instruments and Bible, would you turn with me now to Mark 3. Mark 3, verses 1 through 6. Amen. Amen. If you 
you there. Now, I'd like to hear your voices reading with mine as we read together, beginning with the first verse, let us share together. And he entered again into the synagogue, and there was a man there which had a withered hand. And they watched him whether he would heal him on the Sabbath day, but they might seduce him. And he said unto the man which had the withered hand, Stand forth. And indeed, or to do evil, say life, or to kill. But, and when he had sat forth I hand, and he and the Pharisees went forth and straight. might destroy him. And the people said, Amen. Amen. The word of God for the people of God. Amen. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. I want to tag this today as it's a blessing to bring your witheredness to worship. It's a blessing to bring your witheredness to worship. One of the most important things for humankind is to worship God. There isn't anything else in life that's more important than worship God. God said, uh, have no other God before me, for I am a jealous God. So it is important that you and I recognize that the first thing we ought to do when our eyes fly open in the morning, is to thank the Lord for a night of sleep and slumber. And that why we slumbered and not knowing where we were, that God was by our bedside, and he was watching over us and brought us safe thus far. So your first act in the morning ought to be to worship God and to praise God, not only in the morning, but throughout the whole day, that when we are moving to and fro on the busy streets of Memphis or wherever we may be, with the way they are driving now, hallelujah, you need a God before you, behind you, and all around you because they don't mind speeding doing 100 miles an hour right, right down out here around person. It, it's, it's a shame that we have not recognized that the earth is the Lord, the fullness thereof, the world, and they that dwell therein. But if we are worshipers, hallelujah, we keep our hand in the hand of the Lord. Amen. And so, so, so I, I, would, I would encourage that whatever is going on with us, whatever each of us individually may have going on in our lives that causes us some difficulties, uh, that would be symbolized as witheredness. Some stuff that you ain't got no control over. And no matter how hard you try, it doesn't get right just yet. And that's why you have to go on your knees and say, Precious Lord, I stretch my hand and thee. No other help I know. If thou withdraw thyself from me, or whether shall I go? In other words, all of us, uh, it, most of us, and not all of us, got some witheredness. We got some stuff that we can't stretch out. We, we, we got some stuff that no matter how much we try, it keep on getting in the way. Amen. Just when I think I done got over some stuff, the devil will come up and say, hey, yeah. See, one, one thing, the devil know what you lack. The devil ain't never brought me nothing I didn't like. Amen. See, he'll look at what you look at more than once. Yeah, if he see you look back at it a second time, he said, mm, yeah, that's what. <laughs> Amen. He'll keep setting it out before you, and that'll get to be a withered hand. Amen. And so you need to bring it to the Lord. Don't, ooh, don't be too shamed. 
to bring your witheredness unto the Lord. Amen. Whatever is wrong, show up in the church. Amen. No matter how tough, how strong, how potent, bring it to the Lord. The song was, we bring our burdens to the Lord and leave it that Hallelujah. No, don't try to take them back with you. <laughs> leave them there and God will handle what's there. I'm about halfway through y'all. And, and so there, Jesus had gone to the synagogue, which was where he was accustomed to worshiping. God, Jesus was about a worshiping. And he showed up in the synagogue, and there in the synagogue was a man with a withered hand. Yeah, he come to worship. He brought his withered hand. No matter what folks said about him, no matter how they may look down on him, you know, sometimes folks will look down on you. But come on anyhow, because you didn't come for them to lift you up. You came for the Lord to bring you out. Amen. We love our fellowship, and we love our fellow person, but as much as you love me, some things you can't do for me, only God can do for me. And so there in this synagogue was a man with his withered hand. We don't know how it got withered. We don't know how it ended up being in the shape it was in. But he was there with his withered hand. And Jesus saw him there. And that, that's a good thing for me, that, that whatever you come with, you can't hide it from the Lord. Hallelujah. Because <laughs> he saw you when you got up this morning. Matter of fact, he woke you up this morning and started you on your way. And so it's all right to come just as I am. The songwriter said, I came to Jesus just as I was, weary, wounded, and sad. I found in him a resting place, and he has, oh, yeah, y'all in here today. I, I'm with some worshipers today. And, 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 and so Jesus saw him there, and Jesus said, stand forth, young man. And so when he stood forth, hallelujah, ain't God all right? He stood forth, and, and, and they... There was another crowd in the church. Hallelujah. They, 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 they watched Jesus bring that man in there. And the book said they wanted to see what Jesus was going to do. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, and I wrote down on my text paper here, ungodly folk are not about the worship of God, but about the insurrection of faith. In other words, they, they want to see ungodly folk. The devil is about destroying your faith. Yeah, he'll make you think that you ought not to be here today. He said, you know, pastor ain't here. Ain't just me going in there. A -a Hallelujah. Pastor on vacation. I need to be on vacation. You know. but, but you know that your job to worship. Hey, pastor wanted you to worship. If he hadn't wanted you to worship, he wouldn't have sent me over here. Amen. Hey, hey, Praise the Lord. So worship is greater than anything. And, and so, but there's some ungodly folk who want to destroy worship. And they want to minimize your faith. And let me tell you, faith is the substance of things hoped for. Hallelujah. Thank God all right. The evidence of things not seen. See, faith is what you need to navigate through this life and through this world. And if, if your faith gets weak, Hallelujah. Everything else around you will start shattering. But if you got the faith the size of a mustard seed, yeah, you can speak to the mountain and the mountain will get out the way. If, 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 if you come to worship and lay your faith on the altar and the Lord just magnified whatever your witheredness is, somebody said witheredness, whatever your witheredness is, God will help you oh, move it out the way. And, there were some folk in there that weren't just watching Jesus. They didn't care about the man with the withered hand. Yeah, they didn't care how he survived. They didn't care if he was able to make a living. They didn't care if his family was taken care of. They were looking at Jesus because they don't want him to survive and be the God of the universe. And, you know, we got some folk like that in the White House. Not now, but used to be. Hey, man, didn't care nothing about the folk. Yeah, they had an insurrection in D.C. Going to disrupt the, 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 the Constitution that we have. Yeah, it's for the sake of power. But I'm glad we got a God that sets high and look low. 
And no matter how the insurrection comes, God got a ram in the bush. Can make it all right. Amen. We got rid of that demon. But, but he's still trying to make his way through. I'm about halfway through now, y'all. Praise the Holy Name. Y'all make the boy preach today. Hey! Ain't the Lord all right? And it says that Jesus said as he looked around on the folks, said, is it, is it, is it good to heal or not to heal? Praise the Holy Name. And, 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 and the ungodly folk would not, not, not testify to the goodness of God. They, they won't justify uh-huh. what God can do. Right. Yeah, they, they, they didn't say anything. Uh-huh. Now, they knew it's better to heal right. than to destroy. Right. Right. None of us want to be sick. Right. None of us want to be with COVID. Right. Nobody want us to be with the new variant. Right. Ain't God all right? Yeah. Even them that don't even take the vaccination. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they don't want to get sick. Mm-hmm. Let me just throw this in for free. If you ain't got vaccinated, go on. <laughs> Get your vaccine. The Lord said, I didn't give you the spirit of fear, but of love, of power, and of a sound mind. Now your power work with your sound mind. Yeah. Amen. I, I, I didn't come to be political. I just come to tell the story. Yeah. All healing come from the Lord. Can't no healing come unless the Lord smile on it. I wish I had some help up in there today. Yeah, and so whatever the healing is, trust the Lord. Ain't God all right? I trust the Lord. Amen. I trust the Lord. Then I put my arm up there for that thing. I said, all right, hit me. Amen. At 83, I ain't trying to catch nothing but the Lord. (laughs) Ain't God all right? Yeah, you know, I was coming up here, y'all, and I was thinking about that I knew where to get off the interstate on. And I'm driving my own car at 83. And I knew to come on up on down. And God, all right. I stopped out that person, turned the corner, came on down to this shallow Baptist church, turned the motor off, got out of the car, greeted my pastor here. And God, all right. In my right mind. Hey, ain't the Lord all right? Oh, because the Lord spoke to my golden moment. Let him roll on. Woo, just a little while longer. Yeah. Yeah. I trust the Lord. I trust the Lord. Amen. When I went to get the, get that shot, I said, Lord, I'm on my way. The Lord said, go here. Amen. And, I, and, and, and so when I got in line, I got right behind a white boy. I said, whatever they're giving him, they're going to give it to me. Ain't the Lord all right? Woo! I said, Lord, they're finna stick me right now. He stuck me in the arm. I said, hallelujah. They said, sit down over there 15 minutes and see if anything happened. I sat down. 15 minutes later, I said, I check y'all. Got in my car. Shoot. Ain't the Lord all right? Yeah. I thought I'd throw that in for free. Woo! Ain't the Lord all right? I don't know what I did with my handkerchief. Oh, there it is. Yeah, y'all have to bear with the old man. Yeah, I'm at home, man. Yeah. We don't have to anyway. I'm getting ready to close it. Jesus told the man after he got upset with them, he said, stretch out your hand. Stretch it out. He didn't have to do no hocus pocus. He didn't have to do no what it's going to be. He didn't have to say any mean and mighty more. <laughs> he just said, stretch it out. Boy, I don't know whenever he stretched it out before. But the book said it was withered. It was drawn up. Ain't God all right. Didn't have no power. But Jesus said, stretch it out. Wow. <laughs> it was good as new. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. When I got the shot, the Lord said, stretch it out. Hey. That's what I'm talking about. God are good. He, he ain't, I didn't say he is. He are. Because he's too much to say he is. Somebody shout glory. Somebody shout hallelujah. Yeah. 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 Woo. What 
Lord Almighty God, we said, Jesus looked at the crowd. Hallelujah. Yeah, for they were evil and uh, uncouth. All because they did not allow the power of God to invade their being. And when you fail to be a worshiper, hallelujah, you fail to allow God to direct your life. Forsaken not to assemble, hallelujah. Yeah, we, we are assembling in our right mind, hallelujah. But when we couldn't assemble, we did it virtually in the right mind, though. We were all together, and God all right. Yeah, it, it was in our right mind to recognize that we couldn't come in right now, but we still worship. And you know, folk were worshiping so good at Berean and over here by looking at virtually that they never stopped paying their time. They never stopped sitting in the offering. And God all right. As a matter of fact, they did better being out <laughs> than they were in. <laughs> Ain't the Lord all right? Yeah, God know how to bring us. He know how to get the willingness out of us and bring us to wholeness. Y'all going to catch up with me in a few minutes. Yeah, the pandemic only came on to bring the willingness out of us, to give us the holiness of our God, that we recognize that's not, not the shot that give us the life, but Jesus give us life. I come that you might have life and more abundantly. Hallelujah. How you do it, Jesus? One Friday? One Friday? Yeah, I carried a rugged cross on my shoulder. One Friday? Yeah, they nailed my hand to the cross. Jesus, what else did you do? One Friday? They wounded me in the side. One Friday? They spiked my feet. One Friday? They put a thorn of crown on my head. One Friday? They raised me up, stretched me wide. One Friday? I died till heaven got the news. One Friday, sun refused to shine. One Friday, moon went out. One Friday, it got dark, y'all. Earth real and rock, like a rocking man. Woo! They buried him on a Friday. But right early, right early on the Thursday morning, got up with all power. And heaven and earth in his hand. That's why we worship him. That's why we praise him. I come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. So bring your witheredness to worship. Amen. Amen. doors of the church are open. The door is open. You can come by letter for baptism, Christian experience. Any way you come, come just as you are. You don't have to get ready to come. Just come. Bring your witheredness with you.
Praise the Lord. We see that there are none, but there's still room. Those of you who may be viewing us virtually, know that also that you can make contact to the church, that you can call in the Shiloh Baptist Church. Someone will receive you. You make your testimony that you're ready to drop off your witheredness and come before the Lord God Almighty. We're grateful today that we've had this privilege to stand and to worship with you. Amen. You that are here in the pews and those of you who are viewing us, Facebook, Instagram, a conference call, you know that God is right where we are. And he's still hearing and responding to those who call upon him. His word is, say, I never leave you, nor forsake you. What a mighty God we serve. I am honored today to have had the privilege to come and worship with my friends and to celebrate the Lord here at, at Shallow Baptist Church. And it's good to see that there are many of you that are still supportive and Hey, man, I see him back there. He used to drive the bus with, you thought I didn't know you because you had your mask on there. Hey, hey, man, hey, man. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, then I see my friend over here. Hey, man, y'all y'all got your mask on. I know y'all. <laughs> hey, man. As I often say, God, I'm good. Hey, man, hey, man. I'm so thankful. Uh, to Reverend Dale Turner and again to his lovely wife uh, they they support the old boy you know and uh, when you've been laboring with folk for 50 years they they they, uh, they come around and and bless you that's the blessing of the Lord yeah that's when you brought your wilderness to the Lord and he blessed us anyhow amen Amen. Uh, even with my witheredness, he, he still got his hand on me. Amen. Yeah, he saw that man in there with his stuff, you know. And, and he never, he, he didn't, just, didn't leave him. Yeah, he called him up. And that's what God does for us. He calls us up. Amen. Again, thank these musicians. Boy. Y'all, y'all play and sing by will and me. <laughs> amen, amen. John, it's good to see you. I love the wife and you and your sister. Amen. It's good to see all of you here today. I, I tell you, it's just been a blessing for me to come and, and to worship. And yeah, uh, you tell your daughter I was expecting her to be here too. I know she goes somewhere else, but. She should have known I was coming. <laughs> and I'll mess it with you. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Anything else? Is this it? Praise. I don't want to go, y'all. Yeah. I forgot y'all closed the kitchen during the pandemic. Then. Well, <laughs> let's go home. <laughs> I will trust. In the Lord, I will trust.
all stay on the balcony. I want to stay on. God, we thank you first and anew for all of your benefits and gifts unto us. We thank you, O God, for covering us and healing us from our witheredness. We pray, O God, that as we go down from this place, that your love, the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, will abide, rule, and rest with each of us henceforth and forever. In the name of our Christ, we share together. Amen. I will see Jesus for myself, y'all. I, I will see you. Oh.